Oh, 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 bitch. Without warning, the head of oh, someone shit. or something pops into view under the open manhole. Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, dude. I'm just, at this point, I'm just clicking at random for Josh's setup. For those who don't know, I have a Discord. That is where I select some of these videos at. Last few months, I may have done it my own. But now, if you are a viewer, if you want to get involved with the channel, in my description is my Discord server. And in my Discord server, I have about maybe five different channels where you guys can either give me videos or topics, and that will lead into future videos. This comes from Josh, a faithful, faithful, amazing friend of mine that has joined my Discord and been a part of my team since, what, three years now? I, he's definitely an OG. He's definitely been a person who's been supporting me for the longest of times, and I truly appreciate him wholeheartedly. He listed me about, I'll say maybe six Bizarre Above videos. Uh, he also linked me their channel playlist. But he also put in specific ones that he wanted me to watch. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with the more newer ones first, just in case if the older ones may have been used by a prior channel that I've been watching a lot. Older the content, older chance that it may be something that's been reused on a different channel. And I don't want to give you guys reused content. Scary Comp version 75 by Bizarre Bub. Let's just get into it. Thank you, Josh, for the submission. At approximately 1.30 in the morning, a truck driver was driving down a road that many truckers try avoiding at all costs. Mm. According to rumors, the road in question is believed to be cursed as many drivers have either seen or been involved in an accident while commuting to their destination through this route. Now it's not just accidents that often occur here, but also unexplainable sightings. There have been many reports from drivers who claim to have seen shadowy figures standing on the side of the road as though waiting for someone to pick them up. It's around 1.30 in the morning, somewhere in Louisiana, when oh, a truck no. driver spots something very peculiar on the road he's on. Knowing the history of this place, he takes out his phone and begins to record. What he captures leaves him totally spooked. The little girl. And the, the light blinded her oh in the hand Oy, no someone or something appears to be squatting on the side of the road doing who knows what before turning around to look at the driver aside from the fact that it's late at night in the middle of nowhere the way in which they turn their head and wave at the camera seems quite unnatural yeah. It's for this reason that some viewers believe that a skinwalker or like a cryptid cricket? of some sort was caught on camera. Is that half Whether man, a half cricket? cryptid or person, no new information has been brought forth to clarify what exactly was captured. I don't like that. Uh -oh. There's a mall in Peru that is well known for being one of the biggest plazas in the city of Pacolpa. A lot of kids come here as the plaza holds events primarily aimed at children. Even the mascot of this place is designed to appeal to a young audience, which is pretty evident by the numerous TV ads run by this mall. Okay. With so many kids running around the place, like it's no surprise that accidents often happen here. But one accident in particular has left many people unsettled. In 2016, a young girl named Valentina Yamalith had been playing around at an instant photo booth where an exposed cable from the machine was touching a metal railing near the kiosk. Ooh. Valentina grabbed onto the railing and was instantly electrocuted. Unfortunately, due to the high voltage she received, Valentina was pronounced deceased only hours later. Understandably, Valentina's family had mourned and grieved for days on end. Fast forward to a few years later, and Valentina's story is no longer talked about. Or so it seems. As of recent, the same plaza where Valentina had passed away has been experiencing strange activity within its stores. Oh. It's late at night, after business hours, when a surveillance camera inside a store captures this. Oh. 
Hell no. The video shows what looks to be a small child zooming back and forth at a speed beyond human capacity. As if seeing a child alone inside a store that is closed wasn't strange enough, it runs at a supernatural speed. Employees of the mall can't help but think that this may have been the ghost of Valentina, given the tragic Possibly. history of this plaza. But you be the judge. Was the spirit of Valentina caught on camera? <laughs> Fucking fast. Or had something else been captured? Like my wife at night when she get her fucking zoomies. It's late at night when the following happens. The person recording is alone at home when all of a sudden something bone chilling is caught on camera. Now the person in question is known as Caitlin and it was two years ago that she was involved in a terrible accident. On August 8th of 2020, Caitlin jumped off a rope swing at a very high altitude, causing her to break her neck after landing on a pile of rocks. Ah. This injury was so severe that she had to stay home for more than a few weeks until she recovered. But during her stay at home, Caitlin would encounter something that still haunts her to this day. No one else is home when this is captured. Oh, hell no, girl. She got a silk blanket. She got money. Oh, hell no. I hear it. Like a fucking Michael Bay movie. Turn the phone off and call police. What the hell? Nah, girl. Oh, I brought the rule. I told you guys I was going to do this, but nah, I can't do that. So nah. The two doors open on their own, seemingly at the same time. Feeling beyond spooked, Caitlin sits on her bed, paralyzed with fear. Soon after, the video comes to an end. But this wouldn't be the last of it, as only a few days later, this happens. Girl, go break your neck somewhere else. Why do you have your door open? I'm just gonna look at you guys. You guys are very beautiful today. Yeah, why do you guys? Why do you guys put yourself in that position to be in this? Oh, just like before, the same door closes on its own, leading viewers to believe that the room itself is haunted. Uh, no Since shit. Then, Caitlin hasn't talked about this or the previous incident. Given how frightened she seemed in both encounters, it might be best to forget about them. After all, this terrifying encounter still haunts her to this day. What? Oh my God. I just don't, I don't get video, people. A famous musician from Argentina had posted something pretty spooky that occurred at a friend's house. He met a baron was visiting a very close friend who she's known for over five years. Never has she ever encountered anything like this while being at her place. According to her, she was sitting outside in the backyard when suddenly, she felt as though someone had grabbed her shoulder. She immediately gets up and turns around to see who it is. But strangely, no one is there. Mm. Now, although this incident doesn't seem that strange, it's the video itself that's by far the strangest. It wasn't until looking at the footage captured by the security camera outside that Jimena was left extremely terrified. 
If you zoom in on the video, you can see what appears to be a set of fingers touching Jimena's shoulder. It's hard to make out at first, but if you pause the video at the right time, you can see what looks like a row of distorted fingers. Now what makes this even creepier is that Jimena stands up soon after the hand appears. Because of this, viewers believe that something had actually touched her. But, as always, what are your thoughts on this? Ghost or something else? You let me know. Hmm. Hmm. The following video comes from a man named Bobby who lives with his daughter inside a house where unusual activity has been happening recently. Bobby can't shake the feeling that something is haunting both him and his daughter. He's been documenting these strange occurrences ever since they started, but out of all occurrences, the following has left him the most unsettled. Bobby's in his living room when out of nowhere, strange noises come from his bedroom. He grabs his phone and records the following. It's either in my room or Sky's room, but Sky's passed out right now. But it's crazy, you know? Hold on. She's sleeping. See, I'm telling you, I keep hearing weird sh I think it's coming from my room now. Get a new house, man. Get a new house. That's why. I don't know what that sound is, though. That's why you have whatever's going on in your house. Oh, what the f was that, man? Yo. Yo, f this. F this. The sound of footsteps is heard right behind him as though someone had walked into the room. Spooked out by the noise, he proceeds to close the cabinet and walk out. Yeah. For the next few months, Bobby would continue to post videos of strange happenings in his home, but it's the most recent video that has left him the most concerned. He's alone at home when this is captured. I know y'all hear the footsteps. I'm like shaking already. <laughs> <laughs> so early in the morning too. See, I know you hear them pacing in there. The person is walking in a circle. Get out of here, man. What's up with the dolls? Hello? That would have been an added sound effect from Bizarre. <sighs> He's shaking, shaking. Shall be too. Freaking out. Mysteriously, the same room where the footsteps were heard opens up on its own. Like before, oh. Bobby was spooked out of his mind, oh. but it seems not as much as when the following incident had occurred. Bobby is once again alone at home when something unexplainable happens inside his daughter's room. This is what he captured. It always gets crazy when I'm here by myself or when my daughter's sleeping. What? See? I told you. I want our piano again. Uh, nah, school just started in um, Japan. That's what that was. You, your daughter has a piano? Hello? Barney. See, there's her piano. Gooby Doo. She's definitely a woman of culture. She has so many damn toys. You gotta clean up like every day in here. Hello? If 
but at least y'all caught that part. <laughs> Yo. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, I'm good. No, <laughs> no I'm good. Shut that. I'm telling you, every time I'm here by myself, man. <sighs> See, look, her piano is still going off in there, man. The toys inside his daughter's room mysteriously start going off by themselves. I'm now, good. knowledge else is known about Bobby's I'm situation, good. but he continues to post these strange happenings on his channel. He hopes that someone will explain what's happening, as the activity in his house Ghost. seems to be getting stranger and stranger. Ghost. Ghost. Now, the exact source of the following clip is unknown. It was reposted by someone who found the video somewhere. Even without a source, though, the footage is still terrifying on its own. It starts off with a group of men who are looking down a manhole. They swear that they either saw someone or something inside it. The man recording takes a closer look and sees this. Oh, bitch! Without warning, the head of someone oh, or something pops into view under the open manhole. Its sudden appearance was enough to send the man running away. Like something straight out of a horror movie, the face seemingly disappears oh, as the man you. steps back. Whatever this was remains a total mystery, but real or not, oh. the unexpected appearance of this ghoulish face is the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> if you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. You little bitch, that that's all I'm saying. Let's get back to the video. Let's get back to some bitches. I don't like you guys. This next video was taken inside a mansion that is well known for being extremely haunted. On July 30th of 2022, Sabrina and her husband Carl decide to take a tour of the Aston Hall mansion located in Birmingham, England. The place itself isn't just known for being haunted, but also for its immaculate architecture that many are taken aback when seeing it in person. But it seems that the real reason people come here isn't just to admire the beauty of this place, but to experience the hauntings that tourists have encountered. There is a room in this mansion that once belonged to a young woman named Mary Holt. The okay. story goes that Mary's father had heard that she planned to run away and marry one of the servants who worked there. Upset that his daughter would do such a thing, he goes to her room and locks her inside. Years would pass, and Mary would still be locked up inside this room. It was after 16 years of being grounded that Mary passed away. Mm. It is said that she died of starvation, but also partly of a broken heart. Yeah, now the story itself is quite tragic, but it seems that it wasn't tragic enough for Sabrina's husband, as according to her, he thought it would be funny to call out Mary after learning about her story. This is something uh, Sabrina regrets, as she says that if it wasn't for her spouse calling out Mary, this chilling encounter wouldn't have happened. The two are climbing up the stairs to Mary's room when this is captured. Mary? Mary? You mean you know harm? Mary, you want a bottle of water? We know you're in there. We've seen you. Where are you, Mary? 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 One more time. Now. I got darker in there. Mary. Are you still in there, Mary? You can come out now. Your wife is like hyperventilating. Hello. Inside Mary's old room. A shadow-like figure darts across the chamber in a swift motion. The two stand in silence while breathing heavily in anticipation. It doesn't show itself again until moments later after being called out by Sabrina's husband, as though acknowledging the husband's summoning. 
Now something worth mentioning is that the couple doesn't enter the room to see what's inside. The reason for not doing so, according to them, is that the museum prohibits anyone from entering the room. Mm. As with any historical piece on display, this one is off limits to the public. To this day, Sabrina and her husband have no idea as to who, or even what, was caught on camera. Understandable. Numero uno. When it comes to videos of baby monitors that capture something paranormal on camera, they usually tend to be creepy. But this next video whole child may just be a lot more wholesome than scary. Awesome. Whitney Allen is the mother of two children, whose father tragically passed away in 2022 after suffering a brain injury caused by a bee sting. Apparently, Whitney's Damn. husband was severely allergic to bees. The bee sting Oof. he received was enough to send his body into cardiac arrest and affect his brain. After months of being in hospice care, he sadly passed away. To Whitney, the passing of her husband was extremely agonizing. But for him to pass away only three months later after the birth of their second child was painfully devastating. The fact that he wasn't able to stay for long to see their child grow up was unbearable to think about. Now, mm. even though she feels that her husband wasn't able to meet their baby in a meaningful way on Earth, she believes that he was able to do so from the beyond. Late one evening, Whitney is looking over at the baby monitor when she sees a mysterious light on her child's head. At first, she thought this light was just a reflection on the screen, but when her child changed position on the bed, the light was still there. She couldn't help but think that this orb was actually her husband, as it seemed to be patting and stroking the baby's head. Mm. Could be that. After months of experiencing total agony, seeing this had brought Whitney a sense of peace. Even though her husband had passed away, she takes comfort in the thought that somehow he's still here. As with most videos, feel free to let me know your thoughts on this one. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's, that's Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Motherfucker taking how I say my outros. God damn it. Damn it. Took how I say my outros. Josh. Certified hood classic. Uh, this scared me. I don't like you. Uh, you're banned. 100% for 25 seconds. Maybe by the end of my outro, I'll probably forget. I hate you. I hate you. I truly do. That terrified me. Especially the damn sewer one. God damn it. Anyways, I am enjoying this new channel. This is new videos I have not seen yet. Very minor repeats. What do you expect? I watched like almost all of Nuke's videos. I'm still getting a whole bunch of videos I have not seen, which is what I truly love. At the same time, I don't. I'm going to take a little break of <laughs> doing these back to back. I'll probably record more tonight. But until next time, guys, I love your face, and I'm out. Peace.